Hi, this is Christopher Roundtree. I'm a conductor and a composer. I'm very excited for the premiere of my new piece, Overture to La Enna, uh, with the Cabrillo Festival Orchestra. So in the fall, um, I got this email from John Adams, and he said, what if you wrote a new piece? And uh, John uh, is one of my mentors, so of course, if he says anything, I'll like, you know, he says jump and I'll jump. So uh, it's very exciting to, to, to get to, to write this piece um, and to have a prompt from John that was basically, you know, you should have a good four minute piece. And I thought like, oh, sure, write a fast machine. Like, yes, that's a hit. So to, oh, this is very, it's a scary prompt. Um, and then to return to Cabrillo, I, I studied with Marin Alsop and Gustav Meyer as a, as a conductor and to return as a composer is a big joy. So um, this piece was very difficult to write. And uh, I got the prompt in November and I remember thinking um, just after the election, like how, what, what good is art what, what good is our period? But what, what good is music in a climate like this? In a climate where uh, hatred is becoming more normalized, um, where we're dealing with an authoritarian regime um, in a place that I didn't think we could have one again, um, or that, that we, we, we would be dealing with fascism in our country. Um, so, so I started to write this piece, and uh, I saw this movie that I hadn't seen in a number of years, uh, it's called La um, The director is Matthew Kusevitz. It's from the 90s. Uh, and it's about three young men who find a gun in a kind of a post kind of class riot. Um, they, they find a gun and, and these three young men like deal with what that means. Um, so this piece, uh, that piece already has an overture, um, but I thought that I might write a new one. So this is, this is kind of part of what the idea is. And the other part is... Um, writing an overture to hatred, which is what this piece is, uh, it, it was a very frustrating to write it. And I kept trying to put something down that I thought would matter and then realized that it maybe didn't and scrapped it and said it again. And then I tried again and I scrapped it and I started again. Uh, and then what I realized is that was what the piece would be. So when the strings try to make a sound, <clears throat> they try and no, no sound comes out. Uh, and the winds try to make a very high and loud sound and instead so muted that almost nothing happens. Um, and then a little bit, we hear a little bit of harmony and melody for a second and then that's all cut off and the percussionists try to make a sound and they're playing with implements that should be very loud on an implement that makes no sound at all. So then they're trying to make a sound. Then the percussionists, they search and kind of find another instrument and try to make a sound and slowly sounds appear. Uh, and, you know, the, the strings, slowly they make a sound. And then slowly the winds make a sound. And um, what that sound is, I think, is more timbral than it is uh, harmonic or melodic. Um, but it certainly is it, what it's felt like to make it and what I'm conceiving and that it might feel like to perform it is it's these series of frustrations that we break down and move through. Um, and wow, I really hope that that's what we're going to do um, in, our, in our culture, in our society right now. Um, break down and move through. So... Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's cathartic to write it, and I hope it's cathartic to listen to it. And I'm um, so looking forward to seeing you all in Cabrillo.